Well, Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Tech with another segment of Life on the Farm. And joining me today is Robin Schmall from Egg Dairy. Robin, thank you so much for talking with me today. Um, you know, could you tell me a little bit about, first of all, what Egg Dairy actually is? Well, Egg Dairy is a full service commodity brokerage firm. Uh, we've been in business for t almost 26 years. Uh, we're, uh, we're a dairy division of John Stewart and Associates out of Missouri and uh, in association with agmarket.net. So um, basically we're here to help in all areas of the farming community to hedging protecting prices. Right, and that's the key topic right now that I want to talk to you about. You know, um, you know corn and soybean, you know, new crop, old crop. You know, what are some of the market trends that you're seeing with uh, maybe pricing new crop corn and soybeans? Well, with the pricing the new crop, we have to keep in mind right now that we need to not get too bullish. Well, what I mean by bullish is that we don't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, price has been coming up in both old and new, uh, more so in the old crop uh, because of the dryness in South America. You look at the drought monitor map in the U.S., in the Plains areas, and we've got good demand. So uh, price is going higher, but what we need to be doing is setting in a levels in order to trigger some sales as that price goes up, because you know how that can change fairly quickly. There's just a lot of things that can happen and the job of the market is to move price high enough to start limiting demand. Right, right. And using some of those triggers that you, you mentioned, you know, what is kind of a strategy or a, a ballpark strategy that you're recommending to some of your customers? Well, a lot of the customers is setting some targets with the elevator, but more importantly, what I like to do is lay in some floors. Mm -hmm. You can put in some put options, you can put in some put option spreads that leaves your upside open. That's really important this year in all of the commodity markets is to do a strategy that leaves your top side open because there's gonna be a lot of volatility and it's gonna be swinging back and forth, but by laying in the floor, you are at least protecting right. and you can sleep better, right. <laughs> but yet you're still able to take that higher price. So down the road, you can actually contract at certain points in time because generally once you contract, you lose, you lose the ownership of that. Right. By using options and option strategies, you still retain ownership. Right. Because believe it or not, we don't know what the future is going to be in, in crop pricing. No, no, it's like we've seen, you know, nobody knew how the impact was going to be on a lot of commodities in COVID. Right. I mean, that just, pfft, you know, it went all over the place. Right. So, Robin, you know, what if I have a bunch of old crop corn and soybeans in storage right now? Well, what's a good strategy for uh, liquidating th th those inventories? Basically, you should be selling it, and then you can reown with some call options. Uh, in case the market really goes crazy, but when you have a market like we see right now in corn and wheat that's inverted, it doesn't, it doesn't pay to store it. You're losing money storing. So you need to be moving that stuff out. So, so Robin, what does a normal day of, of yours look like at Egg Dairy? Well, it's basically initially, you know, I write commentary for DTN number of times a day. I write some articles once in a while, but that's the start the day I write, do some writing, but then it's answering phone calls, emails, text messages from customers, uh, prospective customers, anybody who wants to know a little bit more about the market is, it's just watching the screen, watching what the market is doing, and then making recommendations or talking with people that have questions about marketing. Well, Robin, thank you so much for your insight on some of the markets and what's going on. You have a very important job. And uh, I also want to thank you. You've been a guest speaker at some of our on-campus uh, Fox Valley Tech classes as well in the past. So I want to thank you so much for, for your involvement with us as well. Well, and thank you for coming down, uh, talking about the markets. And I appreciate very much being able to be part of Fox Valley Technical College in their classes or whatever else they need me for. That's, that's what it's all about, education. Yes. I'm glad you think, think that way. So for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen.